It was a much-anticipated national football event for 2015. After many failed attempts and false starts, 77 delegates finally had an opportunity to elect a new leadership for Kenyan football. But they were in for a shocker when suspended FIFA President Sepp Blatter's staunchest supporter in the region, Sam Nyamwea, threw in the towel, sensing a wave of dissent against his re-election bid. It has nothing to do with FIFA. It's a personal decision. A personal decision, and I think I should also be, 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 be remembered that I'm one of those people who can decide to, to leave power. It was the end of an era for a man who has supported Sepp Blatter's agenda in East Africa for over 20 years. And the government of Kenya loaded the changes at the polls. So I think uh, we must give thanks to the local Kenyans, both the supporters of the sport and both the federation and uh, the candidates here for making this possible. The newly elected football chief, a 37-year-old businessman, trounced his main rival Ambrose Rachiel by over 27 votes and immediately made it clear on whose side Kenya will be voting during the forthcoming FIFA presidential elections. It is most likely where CAF will go is where we shall go. Because as you know, this is, this is collective, most of the time collective voting. Although we look at what favors us and what you're going to do. The new team was elected in on majority, with focus now turning to Kenya football team's upcoming Africa Cup of Nation fixtures and the 2018 African Nation Championship, which Kenya is to host. The sweeping changes at the Football Kenya elections are just the first step towards restoring sanity in the Kenyan football sector, which has seen stunted growth over the last 20 years. A big task now awaits the new president as he seeks to restore Kenya's lost football pedigree. Sadiq Shaban, CCTV, Nairobi, Kenya.